gully to find a back door into Jebula. Leaving a rather tumultuous city of Galen behind you, you all felt quite comfortable aboard Orstrom's ship, especially having gotten more settled into specific jobs aboard the Big Fin. Winds were strong and sailing went smoothly for the first day or two, when suddenly winds grew still yet again. This all too familiar, familiar feeling swept over you, as yet again the ship was boarded by Sahuagin. Although this time, they were joined by a Merit and his two water elemental escorts. They seemed to have a problem with Orstrom, accusing him of theft of a relic and murder of a princess. Orstrom seemed to resent the accusations as well as refute them, so the inevitable, inevitable battle ensued. The Sahuagin rushed in, as well as the Elementals, and the Merit wasted no time knocking several of you off the ship. But in the end, you all managed to defeat them, and hopefully continue your journey into Jebula without any further incident. Uh, yeah. Took a fucking bat, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. First one of the whole trip, so... You went in the drink. <laughs> Was it the first one of the whole trip? Yeah, probably. I mean, you haven't said you've taken a shower, so I... You know, yeah. don't want to assume anything because it makes an ass out of me. I mean, me. you haven't either. Assuming makes an ass out of me. I actually have. Me. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, all right, good. I have. <laughs> all right, good. There was, that whole, there was that whole point where I made uh, Mitchell explain all of the different bath accoutrements I actually had access to in the, the Draylon estate when I was taking a bath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I know, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Fair. That actually <laughs> did occur. All right. I'm pretty. <laughs> you were that day. That has been so long ago. Yeah. You've been hit in the face so many times <laughs> since then. It's been you long like enough a... that, like, I think that we're back on an even keel. To you be honest, we all look older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much entirely youthful, so. No. Pretty no. much. You're, ti you're tired. All right, Dorian Gray. Those mushrooms screaming at you in the dead of. Night took, took years. Aged you. First right. off, they didn't scream at me; they screamed in me, <laughs> into my asshole, directly up the bum. That does stuff to you. It yeah, it rejuvenates you. the mind and body. No, gets the ghosts out of my blood. Oh God. Have some mushrooms scream up your ass. That'll fix it. It does actually help. <laughs> All right, so anyway, there's a lot of stuff in front of us today. Is it arts and crafts time? I hope so. Have you got any <laughs> other colors of construction paper? Yes. Oh. A bunch, actually. I need some black. Need some green. Actually, uh, I, I'm using white and green here because I ran out of black. <laughs> I thought it meant something. Yeah, it means we're out of black. <laughs> I mean, I mean I it does, but I was like, oh, there's a color coding black. here. <laughs> now the green means we're good to go. The white. Is heaven. danger. <laughs> the that's, is heaven. that's the cocaine locker. <laughs> no. Ooh. That sounds boring. Yeah, like you guys said, heaven and danger. <laughs> All right. I've been dead before. <laughs> so after the uh, stuff like an attack, you all set sail again. <clears throat> uh, no problem. Um, it's already been a couple of days, and you know you've only got a couple of days left until you make it to your destination. Um, is there anything anyone wants to get done specifically on this trip? While we're, uh, while you've got downtime, while you've got, you know, a little bit before this happens. Um, can I use a divination spell? You can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> this spell <clears throat> says spell spell. your magic in an offering put you in contact with a god or a god's servants. You ask a single question concerning a specific goal or event or activity to occur within seven days. The DM offers a truthful reply. The reply might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. Yeah, I feel like that would be fun. I want to yeah. do that. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's this, what's that, that's spell called? Divination. Uh, just divination? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's good. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm familiar. I just couldn't remember what it was. It was just divination. Okay. Yeah, I chose it the other day and I was like, I want to use this so um, bad. So you ask a yes or no question. Oh, okay. Or, or is that, or? It says it, it's a one single question. question. Oh, a single question. And you yeah. can answer cryptically. You can or give a not. short response. Right, 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 right. You just can't lie, basically. Okay. It says, um, 
The spell doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome. Obviously, like... Sure. Um, so we're on the boat, right? Uh-huh. All right. I want to know... <coughs> I'm trying to think of how to phrase it in a way that makes sense. Like, when we arrive, should I be worried about anything immediately upon arrival? As you ask that question, the wind sprays a bit of ocean mist into your face and it stings. Hmm. Sounds like a definite maybe. I <laughs> 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 feel like trying to talk to God and you just get yep. <laughs> It's like to using a regular tarot deck. Uh -huh. That was exactly what I expected. Yep. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, a message. Uh -huh. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> now I've got some beachy waves <laughs> going on mm. in my hair. Perfect. Welcome to... Ready to arrive. To oh, welcome to the divination spell. <laughs> welcome to Toyota Thaw. <laughs> <laughs> that was still fun. Happy I'll do it again days. if I have time later. <laughs> um. Merry crisis. <clears throat> um... Anything else? Anyone else wants to do? Have we done hit point recovery at this point? Um, if no one else wants, if if there's anything anyone wants to do on the same day of the Selhwagen attack, um, we'll do that first, and then if not, we'll just move on to the next day, and everyone will have their hit points recovered. Okay. 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 I don't have anything else. Okay. Um, I don't. Okay. Uh, we'll no. just. The, uh, the next day passes, um, sailing goes <coughs> pretty smoothly, um, and you all are recovered, you're back at full hit points, full spell slots, all that good stuff. That's right, baby. One daily ability to use one time. Hell yeah. Once. That's crazy. So, uh, the next day arrives, and Orstrom uh, informs Feather and Gully um, on the uh, deck of the ship, as well as whoever else may be standing there, um, depending on where you'd be on the ship. Uh, Orstrom says, uh, you look out and you see the rocks over here, you notice, so. They seem to make almost a <clears throat> There's no more small beaches like we've been passing. We won't see those anymore. This is pretty much the point of no return. As the rocks start to stand up like that around the island, you know you're getting close to <coughs> Jebela again. They almost make a palisade like it's protecting itself from the sea. We'll be there today, sometime. I'd be ready. And uh, Gully says, "All right, we're uh, keep an eye out. We're looking for a uh, looking for some some uh, according to the according to what we under what we know what we understand anyway. We're looking for docks very similar to the ones that are in Cantrove that you all came upon already." Um, should be, should be fairly easy to spot, I assume. I just don't know how we're going to get to him with the rocks. <clears throat> we'll see you when we get there. Everyone keep an eye out. Horstrom goes back to, back to sailing. I'm just thinking sugar's making grilled cheese and tomato soup for the troops. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of cheese? <laughs> cheese kind? The cheese that Shit is there. Cheese. That means rat. <laughs> I've been milking these rats for weeks. Milking these rats. I mean, how else would you get it? Unseen servant. <laughs> oh, no. uh, that poor oh, he was felt, though. <laughs> oh, no. Joke's on you, all those rats are male. Oh. 
really weird, geez. Jesus, jeez. No. <laughs> Jesus, jeez. It's really weird, jeez. <laughs> It's like Fermunda cheese. This has become an unfortunate conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, this was the stinging you foretold. <laughs> this is, this is, this this is, is the it. stinging that this the ocean hit me in the face uh -huh. with. This is what it was letting you know about. <laughs> this was the, the, the worry that was happening. This is uh, the bad things. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> me. Wow. <laughs> so, um, everyone who is on deck, um, make perception checks for me. Mm. He's holding on real good there, isn't mm -hmm. he? Oh. Nice. That looks funny. And that's my dude. As well. Oh. <laughs> so we'll cover it and so we'll go. Why would you do that? Such a Ow, dude, what the fuck, you little totalitarian? You're a tyrant. My lord. Yes, my child. That's not funny. Perception check? I got an eight. Thirteen. Eight. Thirteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. That's it, that's who, all who's on Don't the deck. Don't you get a plus nineteen? <laughs> so much. <laughs> 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 um... <coughs> After some sailing, um, the rocks have been in this formation for quite a while, and you notice that it's no longer mountainous, uh, but it is almost like a smooth plateau, one large rock structure uh, flat on top. Um, uh, but Finnegan is the first to notice that hanging above the rocks um, is absolutely the old docks um, that Feather and Gully were talking about. Um, however, you notice pretty quickly that they are in horrible disrepair. Um, they're mostly rotted, falling apart. Um, it seems to be mostly just remnants of the docks left up there. Um, they haven't been used in a long time. Am I the only person who sees this? Uh, no, Do you're I just the to... first one to okay. see it. So if you'd like to point it out immediately, you can. Yeah, I'll do like a, like a, what I assume is a sailing thing, and I'll be like... <laughs> and I'll like, point it out. <laughs> that seems pretty... Yeah. I've definitely seen sailors do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you have. That was very seaworthy. Indeed. <laughs> Uh, or sure my timbers. Okay. He looks up, he looks over at Feather and Gully, and he says, yeah, I think we found your docks. <clears throat> he points up there. And Feather says, well, shit. Do we have any other ideas? Can anybody fly? How far can you throw me? Probably pretty far, Probably but not far. far enough. <laughs> Do we have like a... What about a team with? What about a cannon? Don't we That seems maybe... It would be so fast! I'm okay with being thrown, I don't know about... Can we <laughs> fire you out of a cannon? <laughs> <laughs> don't we know someone who can... See a theme style? <laughs> <laughs> can you climb there with your <clears throat> lizard abilities? Uh, uh, uh yeah. Oh. I could climb up there, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know if that would do us a whole lot of good, but I can go check it out. That's fair. I mean, you can try. Does but it look like remotely? What it looks like is you are on a ship about a hundred-ish feet from these large, jagged rocks that form almost like, like, a, like a huge fence around mm -hmm. this plateau, and then after, past those rocks oh. is sheer cliffside. Okay. So, probably not. Probably not. But with your 19 <clears throat> um, perception check, uh, you do notice after a little while that there is a large opening a little further around in the rocks. Alright, once again. Um, 
do you want me to do some recon up there to, to check out the docks, or do they look so busted that they're inoperable? Can we tell that from here? Um, I don't think we can get to the cliff to climb it. To hold. Okay. You'd be jumping off the boat and swimming to the side of the cliff side. Which could the present sh- its the ship own can't get. You might get thrashed into a shark. From where you are, or the you ship can't get close enough to get you like yeah. against the wall. That's true. You're the sea to... is very yes. Like, the sea is angry. The sea is choppy against the large rocks. Hmm. <coughs> large, okay, sharp, so jagged rocks. Well, but at this point, I've Finnegan like, has spied an opening. I'm like with the people on deck at this point. Mm. We're like brainstorming, but I'm gonna like do the <laughs> and I'm gonna point out the, <laughs> the opening. I'll be like, look, look, okay. look. Um, I'm just waiting for Orstrom to just kick you. Orstrom's I'm doing a good job. I'm <laughs> perceiving. Orstrom's just going to kind of look at it, and he's going to nod in your direction, and he's going to steer the ship towards the opening. Um, as uh, you come around to the break in the rocks, you notice that there it, it is, in fact, a break in the rocks. It's um, quite a large one, and you don't think you would have been able to see it coming from the other direction. Luckily enough, from this direction, it did. Um, <laughs> and in further in, you notice that the wall itself has a rather large cave in the side of it. Rather large. Like large. sail into it large. Like easily sail into it large. Oh great, we're uh, taking the ship underground. Scary. Oh, yeah. Orstrom says, I can get us in there. Okay. If that's our way in, that's what we should, I guess, that's what we should do. Let's go into the scary ocean cave. I don't see we have another option. Which would be the most terrifying place to get trapped. <laughs> uh, with a natural 20. But that's fine. The, uh, he's... <laughs> it does a pretty damn good job taking you all in as you pass in between the jagged rocks. Um, the sea is choppy. Um, the waters around here are very unsteady. Um, but Orster manages to sail into the cave with relative ease as he gets into the cave, the ship lists to a still. There's no more wind in the cave. Orstrom gives the command to raise the sails. Since there's no wind anyway, they won't do any good but prevent us from being able to see. Raise the sails. Sails get raised. And you notice that this cave <coughs> seems to narrow to a passageway large enough to just push your ship through. Doesn't seem that there's anywhere to dock or get off the ship at the moment. Mm. Orstrom says, well, what do we think? Can we see forward very far? Like past the ship? Um, walking to the edge of the ship, you can see that the uh, path leads down, uh, the, the tunnel basically leads further into the cliffside. And that's about it. That's about it. After so far, it just mm. goes dark. Hmm. Seems like uh, the horrible, nightmarish place we're trying to get to, maybe? Nowhere to go I but forward. Guess we go in there. Horstrom says, yeah. How am I going to get back out? <coughs> Just as uh, you all are point. beginning to debate. Is 
They're like the small. Shit. Yes, so don't worry about it. Begins to move forward, uh, seemingly on its own. That uh, seems what? Not good. <laughs> um, everyone uh, on deck, make perception checks. I wish I was on deck so I can make a pirate to the Dirty twenty. Aw, seven. Sixteen. <laughs> um, Gorna, you notice first. Um, Finnegan, you notice as well. The um, the water flows doesn't just sit like the rest of the sea. It actually flows inside this cave. Oh, oh! there's a current. It's pulling us along. That's a strong flow. Is this an underground river? <laughs> <laughs> that means it comes out somewhere, right? Uh, I don't Hopefully. know that. <laughs> I'm not a geologist. I think where we're going, everything is not going to make sense. Maybe. So, Orstrom says, oh, well, where we're going seems like hell, so be on the lookout. I think this is the River Styx. Well, I, uh, I'm not Charon, and y'all didn't pay me, so <sighs> it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you get to make that distinction. Yeah, I feel better. <clears throat> The ship moves all on its own for quite some time. Very slowly. It's definitely by no means a brisk pace. I sure hope this doesn't end in a waterfall somewhere. You notice that the tunnel narrows as the ship goes further and further down it until it's only about as wide as the ship. Say for maybe ten feet on either side of it. That is very close. And after ten feet the cliffside seems to form a lip that is just about at level with the top deck of the ship. And it runs the length on either side. Um, I'm going to hop out <clears throat> onto the wall. Okay. Um, give me an athletics check. That's a dirty 20. Yeah, you managed to jump off the ship onto the, uh, across the gap onto the ledge. Um, it's stone. It's cold. Um, give me a perception check now that you're over there. Stop trying to eat the ribbon in the book. Nine. Nine? Yeah, it's cold stone. Huh. knowledge. Gonna, how high up? Does this go? Um, it's um, it's like probably like somewhere to like 60, 50, 60 feet ish above your the, your um, main mast. Oh, okay, it's pretty tall. It is. Is it just blackness up there? Seems to be. Yeah. I'm gonna go like forty feet up the wall. Forty feet up the wall. It's stone wall. It's a cavernous wall. Can I see anything ahead of where we're going? Or does the ship look like it's going to get stuck? Um, are you trying to go ahead of the ship? Yeah, I want to look out ahead. Um, now that I'm up on the wall, is there anything that I can see? No, you... No, oh no, no. Um, you'd have probably a... There's no light in here at all. Mm -hmm. um, your ship is casting light, though. Because you have lanterns on your ship. Uh, your ship casts light 60 feet in front of it. So you can see 60 feet in front of the ship. Um, if you move 40 feet up, you can see another maybe 20 feet ahead. It's more cavern. Okay. Well, I'll just walk alongside the ship Okay. as it goes. Um, which side of the ship are you on? The right side or the left side? Uh, let's see here. If I'm facing the bow... Like, I am hopped off of, uh, uh, let's see, that's port, left side, if I'm facing the bow. So as you are, uh, as you're walking along, um, how long do you walk for? I mean, just for a bit. For a bit. Um, the sh ship continues to move for roughly an hour. Wow. 
We're just headed down. I mean, at some point, I'll just um, jump back in the ship. As it moves, uh, everyone make perception checks. Um, everyone who is below deck, make perception checks at disadvantage. Um, everyone who is mm. above deck, make a straight perception check. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, that's double 16, so 18. 18. I wasn't expecting to have a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> 18. 18. That disadvantage. Zilgrim, you notice that the ship has been moving very slowly. It came to a stop a while back and now it has been moving along but very slowly. But you've also noticed that you can feel it. The ship's been turning slightly. Which way are we turning? Um, seems one way for a bit and then maybe back another for a little and then one way a bit more. Like a little bit zigzaggy? A little bit, but it seems to... With the 19, it seems to favor port, left side. It seems to favor left over and over again mm. as you're moving inward. Um, and after quite a while, um, eventually, you um, if you're still walking along the side of the ship, um, you'll notice that you begin to come upon another large opening as the walls begin to move away from the ship Time again. to get back on the ship. Um, and as the ship comes out into another enormous cave, enormous antechamber, large enough to fit several ships in, you realize that you are now in a bay, or almost a harbor. And there is a dock inside of this large opening. Gorno, where you were walking along, you noticed that if you had stayed, it would have taken you around to a set of stairs that leads down to a black sand beach. And a large dock that juts out from the black sand beach. It's empty at the moment. Uh, Orstrom so, oh, okay, well, I guess here we are. Um, are there any lights on at the dock or signs of life in any way? Nah, um, you're not currently on deck, but you can come up. I thought I was on no, deck. No, man. Oh, you yeah, are on, on deck. deck. Okay, <laughs> um, make yeah. a, give me a perception check. Eleven. Eleven. No, it's, you can <laughs> just see the edge of the beach um, okay. from, from, you know, from the ship. Um, it's a rather large um, port that you seem to be in. Uh, the dock is fairly modest for the size of the air for the size of the area that you are in. Um, Orstrom says, "Well, uh, I don't know about getting the ship moving without any wind or any moving current, but I got a rowboat." Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, so they uh, he signals for the anchor to be dropped. He anchors in the middle of the large port. The only light in this seems to be coming from Orstrom's ship, and it's almost like a speck in the darkness. What on earth is this place? Gully leans in and he says, This is the back door we were looking for. This is Jebula. So, Doom's Butthole. Something like that. <laughs> so, you all uh, load onto the, uh, the rowboat. Um, it easily fits um, all. Seven of you. Did you bring um, any sandwiches? No, I'm fine. If we're going to the beach, at least I assume <laughs> you all <laughs> right. load onto the rowboat. Yeah, I assume at this point 
<laughs> those of us below deck would have gone up. So yeah, yeah, we would have been informed we're here. Well, well, say come on, gonna have everybody, to come land, I'm, I'm yeah. land ho. It's time. Ooh, yeah, I could go for one of those. <laughs> A land ho. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to the sea ho. He ran into one of those already. <laughs> yeah, she's making dinner in my damn galley. Um, <laughs> on his damn ship. I meant this up like in priestess. So uh, you've all been informed uh, that you have reached your destination and that you will be getting off horse from ship because it can go no further. Um, do you all prepare to load up onto the uh, rowboat? All right, gathering my stuff. Let's yep. go, everybody. Yep. This place doesn't look sketchy at all. Row your way over to the docks. Dock the rowboat. These docks seem a bit more well kept than the ones that used to hang off of the side. Yeah, that's right. Um, they seem like maybe they were used more recently. People are still coming and going from here? Could be. Well, that's a good sign. That means nothing bad can be happening, right? I think so. Wouldn't that just mean this is where the Orthons are coming and going from, perhaps? No, because no. they can teleport. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> they, it's don't, a big boat they don't give a fuck about ship travel. They all just leave from here. <laughs> so, yeah. No, this would be probably <laughs> where scary fire guy from our dreams is passing through. But let's not speculate. Let's go find out. Yeah. So as you all leave the docks, you make your way onto the black sand beach, and you notice immediately that even though the stone is cold in here, the sand on the beach is warm. Like, very warm. Almost uncomfortable. <laughs> it is sand, so yeah. Well, that's mm. weird. It's interesting. Um, Hot hell's hand. <laughs> what's everyone's perception? Uh, what's everyone's um, dark vision range? 60. 60. 60. 120. 120. 120. There's also 120. Yeah. Okay. Um, <sighs> so it is very dark in here. Um, there is no light in this except coming from Orstrom's ship. Uh, and where you are now, Orstrom's ship um, is emitting light, but not enough to affect where you are um, so much. Uh, 120 feet out, it's kind of difficult to see, but uh, anything but beach at the moment. Our new job is beach. Your new job is beach. Yes. Um, so what would you all like to do? Oh, beach off. I guess we should look for beach off so hard. a um, path <coughs> that leads us to where we need to be, or some indication of which direction we need to go. If it's a beach, maybe there's some footprints. Be tankers. We're tracking check. Yeah, if anyone would like to. Uh, these are things you all can do. You all have to tell me what you all want to do. <laughs> if you all would like to do things like make a survival check, then you can do things like that. Yes, we should probably do that survival check. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's look around. Uh, perception check, survival check, what are you all doing? You have to tell me. Uh, survival. Yeah. Make uh, a survival check, what look, are you doing? Uh, looking for uh, footprints or possible paths. Okay, cool. I'm helping. Okay. Not well. Uh, 18 plus 2 is a dirty 20. 20. 17. 7. <laughs> yeah, 13, baby. 13. 13. What were you rolling for? Uh, uh, perception. A perception check. I'm going to also roll a perception check. I'm going to that. 14. <laughs> 14. Gabruk. <coughs> you do manage to find 
what appears to be a bit more of a worn path in the sand. Whereas there's no wind down here, there's nothing really to disturb the sand once it's been disturbed. So you notice that there is, uh, in fact, what appears to be some sort of path that leads off um, sort of the, to the two o'clock direction of where you all are standing. Right. I'm going to not loudly, but just enough to where they can hear me. Uh, say, guys, over here, this way. Found something. Oh, what'd you find? I'm gonna stop kicking the sand. A trail. <laughs> Come over there. Yeah, draw a smiley face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the beach. That's what, <laughs> that's what my check suggested. I did. <laughs> Beach is fun. <laughs> Me, I don't like sand. It's all coarse and gets. <laughs> Alright, so if we find some lava, we know exactly what to do with <laughs> Finn again. Get the high ground? Yes. <laughs> I like my arms and legs attached to me. Yes. Well, you do get to keep one. <laughs> that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. That's not um, so you all uh, you all follow this path that Garuk has found for a little while. Um, and after about 200, 300 feet of walking, something like that, um, a door comes into view in the cliffside. A rather Don't knock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, a rather... <laughs> It's the most knockable door I've ever seen. It's, it's, a, it's a rather large door. Uh, it's big enough that you could pull things like a cart through. Um, it's not massive like a city gate or anything, but it is large enough. It is bigger than, like, just to say a man door. Um, it is a big metal door, though, with um, metal bands and rivets across it. It, uh, it oh, looks yeah, pretty well fortified. There. <laughs> Can I check for traps from a safe distance? Um... Yeah, give me, um, give me a perception check with disadvantage. So, so it would just be a straight roll for you, yes. <laughs> uh, 19. 19. From where you are standing, it seems to be just a door. Just a door. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it seem, it's built into the cliffside. Um, it's a sheer wall, and then there is a large metal door bolted into the side of the cliff. Uh, it looks faceted pretty well. It looks pretty sturdy, pretty well reinforced. Um, you notice that there is um, there is a little slide gate on it where someone could look through and open and shut it. Um, there is um, no keyhole. Um, at least not, a, not one that you can see. Um, not with that particular check and not from where you're standing. Um, <laughs> and, uh... We're doomed. Okay. Let's do the Uh... <laughs> let's just a mimic. Um... Door Lord. Um, but you can see that you can definitely up. notice that the, uh, the tracks, um, are, are going straight up to this door. Um, back, back and forth from the door. He's so angry. He's behind the door. <laughs> Chompy, chompy. He's, He's like, why is everybody looking at me? Uh, yeah, now he feels self-conscious. Hey, hey, please don't. <laughs> Merlin, why you be bad? He's so grumpy. He's like an F1 car. <laughs> Go on, shoot. Everything is good until it isn't with Merlin. Go, bu go bully Phoebus so he beats the shit out of you. <laughs> He doesn't really beat the shit out of him. He just hits him once. It pushes him so over. Much He's bigger. like the one thing that puts him in his place, though. It's the only thing in the house that weighs enough. He just weighs a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, fucking forty pounds. That's what you see in front of you. Um, you have a uh, a large metal door, um, ring handle on the door, a uh, big iron ring handle. Oh great! So um, now we're door. Door. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying there's there's like a knocker? Oh no, handle, big ring oh. handle, like you know you like you would pull. Oh. Yeah, not a knocker, not a knocker. It's Big ring handle. It, it just it looks like a knocker. Though. And you can use those as knockers. Or you can, you can. Yeah. Are Feather and Gully with us? Yeah. I'm going to turn to one of them and say, I thought you said the store was open. 
Different, uh, different door. D- doors. This is the screen door to Jeff. This is the, <laughs> <laughs> the storm door to Jeff. Yeah. yeah. This is the the sun porch door to Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> They're like this is the entrance to the solarium. <laughs> We've got multiple the entrances because there's cats in Jeff and they don't want them getting out. Yeah. This doesn't enter into the foyer. <laughs> There's a herald of Jevola. Oh no, the service entrance of Jevola. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah. This is where the help enters <laughs> so that they don't get seen by the guests. Oh gosh. Low level cultists come through this door. <laughs> Feather well, says, uh, I don't think this door was meant for any of the likes of us to see open or shut. Well, here I am looking. So, how do you think we open it? Yeah. Feels like we gotta. Feather just kind of goes. We could not. <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy who's pretty good at that. I'm gonna stare. <laughs> just stare at daggers right. At uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the handle and She's just. She's just gonna go. I'm gonna grab the handle and pull lightly. Oh, it's locked as hell. Locked as hell. Yeah. It. It doesn't even budge. Is there a keyhole? Absolutely. Like, no, we were specifically told there is no keyhole. From oh, okay. the distance that we were standing before we walked up to the door. But Gorn has just walked right the fuck up to the door now. And, yeah. Uh, Gorn, is, is there a keyhole? tugging on the on No, the I'm handle. not tugging. Yeah. I'm just like, uh-huh. yeah, just yeah, lean sure. back just all the lean way. Just lean back. Just hold so Gorn I don't want to make any noise. tugging on the door handle. Oh, <laughs> the door's bowed. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly the slide opens. Boom, 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 boom. Um... No, so it, it doesn't it's, budge. It's stuck tight. Does this really happen? Finn, just do it. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> we need your specialties. Your skills are I you required. Guys come around, and I'm gonna like my chest out, walk up. <laughs> Not even using the ring, just gonna. As <laughs> soon as you go to 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 swing the first time. You go, and the gate swings open, <laughs> and a face peers out oh, at you. Oh, no. There's these yellow, yellow eyes look out at you, and all of a sudden, a gnarled teeth mouth appears in the, in the, in the, uh, in the screen, and he goes, what's the password? Oh, my God. And he looks back out at you. <clears throat> password, password, what's the password? I feel like Feather and Gully should know this one. <laughs> Gully's going. Uh-huh. Don't mean me, bro. This was your idea. Yeah. He's right. looking right at Finn, you. Finn, we need yeah. a password, buddy. You've got this. Come on. Why your way through this one? Well, I have a goal, Daddy. I need a password. You got it or <laughs> don't you? Is the password... Well, don't ask me. <laughs> 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 you have to tell me the password! The password is... That's better. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the gate to Oz. <laughs> Checking my notes really quickly. Yeah, I don't, Are you just, I don't remember... <laughs> A password, but Maybe. you never know. I am going to attempt to cast Charm Person. <laughs> Worked last time. Because I don't know a password. <laughs> the password um, is the verbal component of <laughs> Charm Person. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, what, is, uh, what does Charm Person say exactly? I have to make a wisdom saving throw and does so, well, we're not finding it, so that doesn't matter. Uh, if it fails, it's charmed until the spell ends, which is an hour, or until we do anything harmful to it. The charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance, and when the spell ends, it knows it was charmed by you. Okay. Um, does it say it has a verbal component? I'm pretty sure it does. Yes. Yeah, you gotta put on some makeup and flirt. Some 
stats real quick. I actually don't have this. We have to photo. make a character real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just DM stuff. He seems stuff. pretty made. I'm not going to lie. I don't feel like this is going to work, but neither was saying the password is password. So oh, maybe we it's, a, it's a what, a wisdom? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, What's the password? Password one, two, three. What, what did he have to beat? As the verbal component of this spell. Well, I really have a little faith in this, so I'm gonna. S- I'm thinking of something that bolsters my mind. So I'm gonna say the password is, and then I'm gonna go squirrel pie. <laughs> You say that, and the magic comes from your hand as the word leaves your mouth, and it hits him in his eyes, just as you can see his yellow eyes peeking through, and he he blinks a little bit, and he goes, What's a square berry pie? Delicious. It's my favorite favorite (laughs) meal. I'll bring you one next time I come through. Well, make sure you bring that and the password. Because that's not the password. you got to give me the password. How does one... What if the Mm. password is we need to speak to Caden now? How... how, What... uh, Why why is there a password? We're about to get philosophical in the dungeon. What? What is a password? Why is there a password? I don't know why there's a password. Let me just be honest with you right now. Okay. Okay. (laughs) It's my job, okay, Uh to sit here. And when people come to this door, I say, what's the password? And then they tell me the password. And I let them in. If they don't, I don't. And, and, and I do this, not for the love of the job. I do this so that I can earn my paycheck and then I can go home and eat a meal. How and much is your paycheck? Well, that's, that's rather personal, isn't it? You should always discuss your wages. <laughs> How will you know you're getting paid as much as your coworkers? Makes a good point. What do you mean? Uh, what if they're making more than you? Yeah. What? Yeah, you might not be getting paid a fair wage for this job, and you're out here playing the, the door police with strangers. Yeah. Who it's have a high serious job. business. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a shitty job, too. Are you in a union? Wait, wait, you, wait, you don't know what, you don't know how much I make. Shit's about to get woke. <laughs> what if I make, I make, I make good money here? It's, 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 I, I enjoy my job. It's, it's easy work. It pays fine. Think. <laughs> I don't know how much are you getting paid. Uh, well, I. Are you on salary, or is it an hourly sort of well, it's situation? The salary. Are you <laughs> leveraging your labor properly? <clears throat> Look, make a persuasion check. I would say. I would say with advantage. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you let people in, what word is it that they say? <laughs> Right. <laughs> this guy's about to start the first union in Javel. <laughs> oh my god. Did you Wait, I get the reroll <coughs> one. Okay, that's better. Fifteen. Fifteen? Uh, he says, What? Well, I might go to die. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> Something, a job is serious. I don't lie. I make it Do you I'm work employed. every day? Of course I work every day. So you make 300 gold a year? 365 gold a year? What's it do? It's pretty good money. Yeah, normal town guards make like four times that. Yeah. What? You, I mean, should, you should at least be making like 
At least five gold a day. Position as prestigious as this, absolutely. (laughs) I mean, you're the sole person that keeps all of the riffraff out of Jevola. That seems pretty important. Yeah, you should Uh, definitely. You know, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's that's, that's really, you're really something. You're right. I'm going to demand, I'm going right now. I'm going to demand more money. Thank you all so much. (laughs) It shuts and you can hear it. <laughs> Maybe now we can break in, though. <laughs> well, we have to break in now. <laughs> now that there's nobody stopping us from breaking in. Hey, hey, at the very least, we might have improved that guy's life. I was going to say. <laughs> or <laughs> got yeah, him absolutely fucking We went and got some poor bastard killed. Yeah. <laughs> But not before we started a union, which matters. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, this is the first murder that we didn't actually commit, and I kind of feel bad about this What do you this think one. union busting looks like in general? Uh, a club. Yeah, like a actual club busting. In the team. Yeah. yeah, yeah. if they knock your fucking teeth out and you have to be hungry, I guess you don't want to be in the union anymore. Damn, it's like Amazon. Hey, you're going to piss in this bottle and feel dignity wow. about it. wow. Ah, tonight, labor theory. We did, right. some, we did some good work today. We did some good stuff. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I knew when that took a philosophical turn that nothing good was going to come of this. <laughs> you know I love asking people about their wages. <laughs> so, um, I still gonna, didn't get in. I was going to try. And then all in, suddenly you hear, <laughs> as it slides back open, and now there is one yellow eye looking out at you. Um, and you hear, so, um, it didn't work. <laughs> and I, I think, <coughs> I think I'm going to get paid less now. All right. So, <laughs> listen, what if, what if, uh, we, what if we bargained this? for you? Yeah, let us yeah. get in there and resolve this. I don't Look. think. That's, I asked for a raise, and they took my eye. What? Yeah, that's why we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk for you. I think it'd be yeah, safer as a representative. I just didn't let you in. What if I give uh, you twenty five gold right now? You only make one gold a day. Maybe less now. <laughs> that's like a month's work. Make a pers- another persuasion check with advantage again. Yeah, because he's starting to get hungry already. <laughs> And buy. he needs to buy a glass eye. 18. He says, No. I want a job. A job? A, we can us? get you a job. Yeah. I want to get out of here. Okay. This yeah. is awful. Do you know anything about sailing? Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> He's willing to learn. <laughs> yeah. On the job, training is the best training. <laughs> Has Orstrom turned around the ship and managed to get out yet? No, it's it still, still sitting slower? there, and, and most of the crew are just kind of on the deck, kind of scratching their head, and Orstrom's just yelling at people. I've got a Do pretty important job. How... Hey, 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 i got a pretty important job for him. Yeah. He's really good at washing doors. Let's have him wash the rowboat. Oh, that's, that's, a, that is yeah. a good, that's pretty good. That's a, that could be we a good. will pay, pay, pay that, you that 25 Yeah, I'll gold. pay you 25 gold just to watch this rowboat until we get back. And then we'll get you on the ship. We'll get you doing something. I could show you how to climb a rigging. Uh, uh, I could watch a rowboat. I bet you could watch a rowboat. Yeah. I could do that. You just I don't let just nobody take it. I keep, <laughs> I keep an eye on it. Yeah. And I. one. Working through trauma with humor. Uh, He's going to fit right in. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, literally dying. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> the <coughs> thing slowly shuts. Hear a little bit of sniveling. <laughs> Getting out of here. <laughs> right, you're a bludgeoneer now, buddy. You can have some dignity about yourself. We've done the vindicator with the best for him. No, no, no. What's the best for him? No, no, no. Oh, just done it. Cookie! He opens the door. <laughs> 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 you see, uh. <laughs> 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 Standing behind the door is a, uh, a one-eyed hobgoblin um, in pretty drabby clothes, um, a dagger um, on his hip, um, and freshly missing an eye. Yeah. Um, 
we're going to we're going to go ahead and make a medicine check and pack that eye for him. Because <laughs> if it gets infected and he dies, he can't watch the robo. That's, That's true. true. <laughs> that is true. I'm proficient with medicine, too, so we should be okay here. Oh, <laughs> do, oh do look, a 12. A 12. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best pack job, but there's do better you than no eye. Do it's you need help from a colleague, perhaps? Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe some guidance. Like a yeah, cleric. maybe some guidance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, add a d4 to that. Yeah, add a, roll a d4, Patrick, and add that. Uh, so that's another two. That's 14. 14. Okay. That's better. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty good. You're pretty pleased with the work. Um, he seems patched up pretty well. I feel bad about his eye, so I'm going to go ahead and give him five gold up front. Just to make him feel a little better. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, that's very, very generous. Uh, thank you. I'll be here at the rowboat when you get back. I hope. I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Do we have any way to get Orstrom a message from this distance? Yeah. Oh, I've got message. My finger. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody should probably send them a message and be like, don't shoot that little guy from distance. <laughs> no, not little. <laughs> he's uh, a hobgoblin. Oh, There's not yeah, a lot little about those. He's, a, he's, he's about the size of Garouk. Yeah. Our, our little uh, buddy. <laughs> he's, he's thin, a little emaciated, uh, red-skinned. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, he's... Yeah, humanoid sized creature. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep calling him Lil. Okay. Even Are you though I'm a very to smaller than uh, <laughs> There's someone watching the ship. Don't or the boat. Don't kill him. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll be. Uh, I'll let him know. Just be like, hey, we've got a uh, a one-eyed friend here. He used to have more eyes. Now he's got less. But anywho, that part's not important. He's watching the rowboat. Uh, there's a good chance that if he's still watching, you got the robot, to. He's watching the robot. That's right. It's, it's 25 <laughs> words, <laughs> and you got out 25 words after. Yeah, Maybe he's terrible. watching You're the robot. <laughs> yeah, he is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's 25 words. Is not. You don't get to send a whole. Oh, time. I can whisper a message. It doesn't say how long it has to be. Oh, it's uh, which one is uh, which one's the 20, 25 words? Fuck if I know, but it's not message. Yeah, <laughs> message got no. Uh, message got no limits. It's better than Twitter. <laughs> Heck yeah. No, it's okay to dead name. Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay. It's, it's fine. fine. Come on, come on. I can give you that permission. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter doesn't feel that. <laughs> Only one person does. Watch out. Oh. Now. He's a I'm dick. <laughs> also, what's 120? Mm. No, there is a range here. Yeah, it's, the range is 120 feet. feet. Oh. Yeah, we, we probably can't send him that message. 120 feet. Yeah, not a dot. We said it was the ship was still shedding light on the beach, yeah. right? Yeah, it's enough that. Well, no, no. I said that the ship is shedding light, but it's not enough to hit where you to are. Hit where we are. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. The ship is probably. I mean, that's fine because if we can't get a message to him, he probably can't see him, right? He probably can. Probably not. Considering well, you know, we're just able to see the docks. Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll just put an NPC. Though. No, no, no. If y'all were just able to see the docks, you'd be able to get a message to it. All right, cool, cool. That's hundred. Then yeah, I'll absolutely let him know that we've got a, a yeah. one-eyed hobgoblin acquaintance who is watching the rowboat and maybe returning with us if he's still at the rowboat. Somebody should ask the hobgoblin his name. Someone should keep an eye on the hobgoblin, keeping an eye on the boat so he doesn't steal it. I don't think he's gonna steal it. I think he's um, what you call um, stupid, traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't hit him, so. True. Yeah, not yet. I mean, we haven't, and we won't. We're basically like those influencers who go into like Taco Bell and get someone a thousand dollars to quit their job. Yeah. That's pretty much what we just. Did. Are we Mr. Well, Beast? We, we tried to get him a union <laughs> first, which is what I think really matters the most. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's <laughs> sending I'm thinking of. Uh, sending. We, sounding. And then we hide. Sounding. <laughs> <laughs> sending is different a third thing. level. Wow, that's different. Different thing. Um, Similar, but yeah. different. It's also very impressive if it has a 120-foot range. <laughs> uh, for future reference, though, we probably should come up with a rule for what 
qualifies as a short message. Right, right, yeah. Because this is a cantrip we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. It's not a superpower. You can't, you can't read a book to someone. But also, right, if it's like, a cantrip, couldn't you just... You do it again. Yeah, you could do it again. But this is even still, like, just to make sure, like... Commas over conjunctions. We'll have, right. we'll have to do it, uh... <laughs> 120 uh, characters. We'll have so, to do it, like, so, uh, so sending... Sending is a third level evocation spell, mm -hmm. and it's limited to 25 words. Right, but how? F what's the range on that? 120 feet. Wow, that sounds like a really so, underpowered spell. So, <laughs> sounds like so we should have picked a better message. Cantrip. Being a cantrip is probably only going to be like 10 or 15 words. Yeah, that's fine. Short message. That's fine. We're at the docks. Don't shoot the hobgoblin. <laughs> like you know, something like that will probably or have do. to be. Or do. Or do. But again, it's a cantrip, so you can use it over and over again. Right. But it has to right. have some sort of limitation to it. If a third level s spell says 25 words. Yeah, it sounds like that third level spell is really underpowered. In, there. in my game, it's powerful enough. <laughs> <laughs> cantrip is the one that is limited. Um, so you all uh, make sure to send a uh, message to Orstrom. Um, the, he can respond to he message. Respond. Uh, he says... All right. Couldn't really do much from here anyway. Uh, <laughs> we didn't know that. Yeah, right. <laughs> we don't know what he can do. Whatever the fuck. He's he got that lantern. <laughs> I can't see to the. <laughs> you can only see about sixty feet out from the ship. Hey, he's got that lantern. That's all I'm saying. He does have the lantern. If he can see it, he can shoot at it. Basically, that lantern's got some range. Um, you all step through. The large metal door. Um, it takes you down a quite a long pathway um, uh, that opens into a, uh, a larger hallway uh, where the floor begins to become purposefully carved. Uh, it no longer seems like it's a rough board tunnel as it has been thus far. You get to what appears to be now something purposefully made. Um, you all come to uh, eventually a staircase. I don't know. Um, a short staircase. What's it say to you? Can it see me? Is it bigger than me? <laughs> it's definitely bigger than you. Um, <laughs> uh, it's like five steps. Um, can, I, can I target the gazebo? <laughs> <laughs> You have to face the gazebo alone. <laughs> uh, you, uh, but you come to a large door, a large double door um, at the bottom of the stairs um, that seem to be um, almost like the doors you would find to the entryway to a castle. Good. Um, Good. They're large. They're looming. They're wooden and iron banded. They have large metal ring poles on the outsides of them. The middles of each of the doors are decorated with um, large iron opened mouths. It is a, it's a, a bald head and an open mouth, but the jaw is distended to be four or five times longer than it should be able to be open. Ugh. And around the head in three locations is an open ivory clawed arm. That sounds like the Metalocalypse castle. It's pretty sick. That floats. It's kind of like that. <laughs> That's kind of the same vibe that you should be getting from all this. I was going to say, yeah. I feel like yeah, 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 yeah. an explosion you be, you is just around the corner. You should be feeling a lot like that. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like, uh, like Face Bones is about to give you an important message before you go in. <laughs> um, so you stand upon A stone, a cold stone floor, facing a large looming door, that, as far as you know, is the entrance to Jevola. Well, sweet. This is this, this is just peachy news. keen. It is. This is great news. And that's where we're gonna take a break. Everyone. Hi. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So that uh, the dotted line up there at the edge of the visible area that is the large door. We made it to another door. And this is probably your game. That's a hell of a yeah, door. Right in the middle. Isn't it open? I'm so safe. 
<laughs> no, it's not open. Oh. Uh, no, you all you all went through the little door. Oh. You went through a cavern until it turned into purpose built floors oh, okay, okay. and walls and, and opened up into a floor. wide okay, okay. and you ended up here. We have to unionize another guy. Okay. <laughs> we need to unionize these doors. doors. <laughs> yeah. This is a much bigger this is a b little bit bigger and more grandy. It's the one I explained yeah, okay. before break. It's yeah, the one with sorry. the faces on it and everything. So like this What am I just supposed to knock on this one too? What do you want me to do? <laughs> Well, well, I don't know. Everyone's check like, it this for is your traps. Job. I mean, I can do that. Yeah. I can check it for traps. And then you can knock. Can I check it for traps? Yeah, give me an investigation check. I assume you're going to move forward to check it. <laughs> we need to make a tiny captain's hat to put on tiny. Oh my gosh. Out of felt. <laughs> I was about to say, do you have felt? In 27. Things? I went from a one to a nineteen. This do door it. is in fact trapped. We could probably figure it um, out. <laughs> it's trapped. Damn. Uh oh. Well, untrap Good it. Good job. <laughs> untrap it, you say? Can yeah. I untrap it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Give me a slight hand job. <laughs> Can I untrap it? <laughs> I could totally untrap it. Get the hobgoblin to open it. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here, bro. Twenty-two. Yeah, fucking a. <laughs> so you untrap the shit out of that door. Um, yeah, you uh, you get your little tools to work, and you uh, you're working at the hinges of the door, which is where this particular trap is located. And you're able to chunk, chunk on both uh, both sides, and the trap is uh, disarmed. It will not release when the door opens. Wow. So now, am I able to open this door in any way? Um, there are there are keyholes on this door. There are keyholes. So that means I could likely. Pull At least unlock it. Look if it's it. locked, you could unlock it. Can I attempt to open the door? Yeah. Um, you uh, grab hold of one of the um, one of the uh, the large pull rings and pull, and it does it. It cracks open. Wow. They left it open. Well, they locked and the front door. They figure everything inside the house is probably fine. Yeah, they right? probably really trusted that guy. Yeah, I don't lock my right? bedroom door when the front door of the house is locked. We should really make a name for him until we figure out his name. Uh, Bob? Blinky. Blinky? Blinky. Yeah. Blinky. Or Winky, I guess, technically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey. That, that makes sense. Okay. Alright. So as soon as the door cracks open, mm -hmm. I'm going to step forward just to make sure nothing comes out and attacks Finn. Okay, are y'all just opening the doors? I mean, Kaji says I mean, Let's just walk into Jebel. I'm gonna need you to move some of your stuff, please. What? Yeah. We're having things no, happen. I live here. Oh, this yes. is my house. Yes, you do. Not anymore, though. <laughs> this is my house. I've set up shop here. Oh, my lord. Ooh, we're perceiving. Oh, my lord. You're about to beat us like wild horses, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. I've already been pushed down in this little corner. <laughs> I picked my spot specifically to not get moved. I was like, if I sit as far away from him as possible, I couldn't possibly have any issues. That's too damn So bad. you open the That's door to <laughs> Jevela, and immediately you are greeted by a very unwelcome sight. A large, large open room with a large uh, raised platform in the middle and some very unhappy looking occupants. Oh good, there's occupants. Oh. Seems like a boss. Are these pillars or... Yes. Uh, those are uh, those are pits of fire. Pits, uh, not a fire oh. of stagnant water. Ew. Oh, okay. Don't better. drink that. I'll make you sick. That's a bacteria. <laughs> yeah, there's mosquito eggs in there. Oh, it's that's a water okay. We, we got plant. two. We got two holy men here. We'll bless it and then drown the non-believers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thought I was supposed to be the crazy. 
Have you ever met a paladin? <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Garuk just had to like cleanse his own order, sort of. So that's probably weighing no, a lot on his didn't psyche. Have to. He could have just fallen in line. <laughs> could have just done what he was told. <laughs> just doing my job, bro. <laughs> Oh my word. Dude, I hate everything. They got a puppy. Cocksuckers. This is not Yes, awesome. don't pet it. Oh my god. <sighs> Gentlemen, oh, it's been fantastic. Guys. Right? What's this guy about? What's his name? That's Orthon. Orthon. That's the Orthon that you oh. all keep playing. <laughs> the Same guy that keeps one. going invisible on you. Probably ain't Steve. I hate yeah. this guy. If anybody in the group has a chance at pronouncing its name, it's you. Which is... <laughs> <laughs> so, that's pretty close. Um, the door is open. Yeah, well, we've opened the door to Jevo. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, did we leave those doors open? <laughs> yes, it can. Wow, there were potentially paths to the left and right. Sweet. Um, well, I assumed, like, here and here were probably blocked. They are! <laughs> hmm. So the only way forward is through this room. The, door. the only way out of it is through it. So. Son of a bitch. I need everyone to go on initiative as the Orthon sees you, Finnegan, as you open the door first. And he grins and he says, which only you can understand, you're making the hunting far too easy. I don't want to talk to this guy. Right <laughs> I'm not going to dignify that. <laughs> so, I'm fair the, enough. I'm the bigger man here. Fair enough. Maybe not physically, but mentally. I understand. It's fair. I'm only barely mentally. Okay. <laughs> Win the win, baby. <laughs> it's it's by an inch or a mile. mile. <laughs> God, I want to slap you right now. <laughs> that family guy skit of Rocky. It's like, Rocky, you can't find a Martian? Not on Mars. There's no oxygen up there. Uh, there's no oxygen up there for him either. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. You don't sound very confident, man. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm scared. What are you afraid of? Orthons. Fear? Yeah. No, I'm not afraid of fear. <laughs> fear is a stupid emotion that you can overcome. I'm afraid of the giant thing in front of us that we've barely overcome twice before, and it gets less and less good every time we have to overcome it. Like that margin of victory gets narrower and narrower and narrower. He's got a lot of friends this time too. Yeah, he's never had this many friends. Yeah. He's not special, neither am I. <laughs> Come on, fucker! I know you can make it because you do it a hundred times a day. So just do it. Yeah, see. Stinky. <laughs> Stinky diamonds. Scrumpy dingus. Okay. <laughs> Who got over a 20? I did. Me. 22. 21. 22, 21. Fine, enter mine. Okay, uh, 20 to 15. 17. 15. 17, 15. Mm -hmm. Uh, 15 and under. 10. 10. You lack initiative. <laughs> I find your lack of initiative disturbing. That's my first good initiative roll in a minute. Me too. And I get a really big bonus to it. I don't. That's yeah, the neither do I. Mine's like, oh, so you rolled a d20, huh? What's that number? <laughs> 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 Plus? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a plus, but it's minuscule. Uh. <laughs> Is it one? 
Yeah. It may as well be. I have plus two. <laughs> the same. Yeah. Have, that's, well, I, that's, no, that's literally that's double. That's literally a hundred percent more. Yeah. That's All right. Okay, fine. but look, a hundred percent of a turd is still only two turds, and it's still only two turds. That's twice as bad. So okay, by that <laughs> logic, what if you have twenty turds? Ooh, that's twenty times that's as bad. That's that's real bad. Actually. <laughs> so, um, first up is going to be the Orthon. Yeah, mm -hmm. let me put on my shock face. Um, oh, who is dude. immediately going to go invisible. Cringe. <sighs> Thank you very much. So, only Finnegan can see where he is? Yep. At least Finnegan can see where okay. he is. Bro, we need to hit him with some powder. powder. It, it some powder. Do you have side. powder? Oh, I thought it did. I thought you said you could see invisible things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, you might want to read that again. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, hmm. wow. I know where the Orthon is, and I will text you, Colton, okay. to That's tell good. you where the Orthon is. That works for me. And if you make connection, he comes out of invisibility, right? <laughs> yes. That's the important thing. Yep. I was going to say, as long as we keep making good connection like once per turn, I'm not gonna let it's him after know his turn. Yeah. yeah, it's usually pretty fast. Well, he's no. first, so yeah. I, I guess there's no nothing he can do about it, really. No, I mean if if you so he's gonna like, target me. Like guiding bolt leaves it glittery, kind of. But can he? He can't see me when I'm invisible, though. Not unless he has true sight. But I, we've fought him before, and I've been invisible fighting him before. Yeah, he, he couldn't had no do jack idea. shit about it. Yeah. Wait, has it been the same Orthon? Yeah. I mean, we're pretty sure. I'm pretty um, sure. Yeah, I, think I, mean, so. I was about to say he was having That's what was implied. Yeah, <laughs> he conversed with with Finn to make it seem as such. Unless they're a hive mind. Which no, seems they don't die. <laughs> we can't kill them. Yeah. We can only banish them back to the plane. Right, I'll send you a message on Discord. Um, <laughs> uh, so. Um, Garuk, you are also standing in the door. He's going to make me a quick little decision here. The decision to melt our minds with bullets. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Finnegan. See? An arrow, or a bolt, rather, goes swart, whooshing past your head uh, as the Orthon goes invisible. But since you can see where he is, you got you're not surprised by the attack, and you're able to duck out of the way just in time. Hooray, uncanny dodge! Also have evasion now too. Yeah. Um. It is Finnegan. It's your turn. It is, isn't it? It sure is. Okay. Well, I am going to... What? I'm going to use a fourth level spell slot and cast Greater Invisibility. Okay. Finn's going invisible. And then... Probably not tonight, because there's no... Maybe next week. I'm gonna move to there. Actually, I'm gonna dash. Two, three. Go to there. Okay. And that will be all. Okay. And again, has become invisible and ran the fuck off. Uh, There's a ring for that. As I do. There is a ring for that. It is now Gorna's turn. <clears throat> I can't fucking reach anything. Yeah, this will get you to like 40. That's 40. Okay. Um... Let me 
right there. Right here? Yes, please. That's literally all I can do. I can't rage or I'll just waste it. Okay. Dr. Gorna, Quinrin. Oh, that's awful early. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fourth we in initiative. The, you, had the, the, you, had the, you had that, you had that, you had that high-ass initiative. <laughs> you do have high-ass um, initiative. So, God, there's just so many things I could do for the walls. You should. Um, also, if you move forward, you can make it up to the. Yeah. Let's say, uh. What's a. I'm gonna give myself mage armor this turn. Okay. Uh, we're going to spend the first level spell slot because you can't really supercharge mage armor. Otherwise, we would be. Um, That'd be awesome. Yeah, if I could just be like, ah, no, I want two more to my AC, so I'll use a level three instead. Right. You can use a level three spell slot. It just doesn't do <laughs> it much It just doesn't you. do <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I think I'm going to move um, up behind Garuk, but leave a five split square. Put square between us. Yep, just like that. Okay. Perfect. And uh, I will not forgive my enemies for their trespasses. <laughs> As a bonus action, you do not forgive. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I always, I, I never forget <laughs> to kill. To kill. <laughs> Still your turn after Quinrin. Okay. Nobody needs healing yet. Nobody needs healing yet. Thank God. Uh, I'm just gonna go up here. Okay. And I'm going to ready a sacred flame, uh, like, if one of them advanced towards us. Okay. You ready a sacred flame. Um, yeah, it is now Feather's turn. I hope you're seeing this Orthon. I'm doing it as hard as I can. Uh, would you move Feather the Tabaxi? Yes, one step inside the door, please. She is going to run up and draw her bow. She is going to shoot at the Hellhound twice. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the first one hits. <laughs> um, <laughs> now I kind of feel bad for he's her husband. He's out of line, but he's right. And we don't know if she's got a husband. He mentioned that she has a husband. Oh, well. Sounds like a him problem. Uh, Sounds like a him problem. True. It's hard to keep track of everything. And everybody's backstories at this well, dude, point. Well, dude, he's inconsequential to me, so... You don't know yes. that. <laughs> she's, she's mentioned her husband, like, whenever they first kidnapped Finn. <laughs> Second attack. Also hits. Plus, I've lied about being married a lot. <laughs> it's another six damage. Women of the bar don't want you unless you're married. <laughs> So Feather runs, in. <laughs> Feather runs in and fires two arrows immediately into the Hellhound, and it yelps out quite loudly. Uh, it is and then she Gully's turn. Uh, Gully, let's see. He's going to do the same, actually. He's going to run in, and he's going to fire two shots at the cultist nearest the, uh, the Hellhound. Oh, the cultist? They're all cultists. They're all cultists. Oh, okay. That one's just a volunteer. Her robes are in the mail. Uh, <laughs> that hits. Forgot about the big ceremony today. Was doing laundry. Oh, they're at the cleaner. Yeah. Oh, the cleaner's Buster. not open today. Buster. Buster. Damn it. Can't pick them up. Sorry, everybody's going to be so mad. <laughs> Fucking Aramark, dude. Now he's going to shoot another one. <laughs> Our Aramark guy is 
okay now, but he's not as cool as the dude that was Ooh. there the first time. I don't know. He might be cooler because he's got me some more nice. uniforms. I've got like five now instead of three because I'm supposed to make three uniforms the last two weeks. You know, so I'm a mechanic. I wouldn't spill oil or anything on this. Uh, that forever. takes us to the cultist turn. All right. So don't get cultists. Let's see. We are going to start with the one in the far left over there. Um, this one. Yes. Uh, let's see. I guess I need to buy a couple more boxes out of that set so we can open some more cultists. <laughs> Honestly, man, I'm loving the WizKids pre-painted minis. Yeah. I love painting minis. I have a lot of fun painting minis that face spiders always enjoy to see on the tabletop. I can't wait for the chance to use the uh, three kobolds in the trench coat. I like the Wiz, WizKid minis, too. They taste really good. <laughs> the green ones make me horny. <laughs> uh, this one is going to cast uh, Sacred Flame at... Um, Gorna, since you're the first to run in. Um, so I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, that is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Oh, wait, a saving throw? That's 21. 21. Uh, yeah, no effect. You <laughs> cast Sacred Flame, but you're able to dodge it. Um, Next cultist, the one behind, is uh, going to cast Sacred Flame at Feather. Feather is going to make a dexterity saving throw. The natural 16 beats it. Um, Let's see. Uh -huh, noob. Shit. Shit. The cultist in the middle uh, who got shot. 5, 10, shot. 15, 20, 25, 30. Thirty is gonna run up to Gorna. Mm. Here. Yes. I think that triggers uh, Zogram, right? Uh, it does. The uh, Zogram, uh, the the cultist came towards you. That triggers your sacred flame. So it's gonna have to make well, a. Uh, it makes a dex 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 oh, saving okay. throw. I thought I had to roll for it. Uh, for a ten. No, I get to hit it. Okay. But I get to the second time sacred flames hit this campaign. Seven and seven. Fourteen wow. damage. Ooh. That's pretty good. Like a truck. Yeah. Uh, it and goes off and right? the cultist lets out a loud that scream. Was um, as shit. <laughs> as, it, uh, as it begins to try and uh, stab at you, Gorna. Rude. That's a cool looking mini, though. Uh, jazz first hands. attack, misses. Second attack. Uh, Fourteen to hit. Nope. Misses. Uh, just... No, we're gonna pile of barbarian can't now. make a can't make purchase. Well, yeah, she just can't hit in the face. face. Yeah, just take um, her in the face. I have some HP now. Three so. of them. The two in the back now. Um, or no? Yes, yeah, these two. Yes, the two on this, this side. One, this one. That one. Now we've got these two. That's right. The hell, how uh, how this guy is going to let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He can't quite. He's going to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, just to the corner of the pit over there. 10, 15, 20, And then 20, diagonal 25. right there. Perfect. Uh, he is going to... He is going to cast... Spiritual Weapon. out the spiritual weapon. I have, have I have two. A hammer and a mace, I think. Maybe a sword and a hammer. Something like that. I can't remember. It's something like I think. I've got two ghostly weapons. Right. Make it work. And then you've got another one that's like yeah. a named like Morden Cunning's sword or something like that. Yeah, Morden Cunning's magic sword or some silly shit. Some such nonsense. What are you flipping your head for still? You're such a weird kid. Look at your eyelashes. They're so long. Hey, dude, eyelashes and whiskers all over there. He is just, everything is so long on this guy. Except for his micro penis. He's so flammable. Alright. 
Uh, He's chatting the chat over here. Yeah. <laughs> Will you please place Marla the spiritual like weapon? Um, I would say um, on the inside of Gully, between Gully and Feather. Yep, right there. Yes, inside of him. Also, I apologize. I wasn't expecting that he added something. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Talk about a wrist pocket. Uh, he's going to go ahead and make an attack. Definitely hits with a 19. Is six damage as the spiritual hammer whack comes down on Gully. Uh, that takes us now to the cult cultist in the back who is going to move forward towards the middle of the room as far as he can. 25. It's there. One more. 30. He has 30 feet of movement. Here or here? Uh, left. Yeah, that one. Uh, and he's going to cast a sacred flame at uh, Garuk. Make a dexterity saving throw, please. Eighteen plus five is twenty-three. Yeah, you, you you make it for sure. That is the cultist's turn. Garuk, it is now your turn. Damn, I can't make it to him. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith okay. on myself. And then head forward to here, since I can't make it to the other one. And attack. My sword. Does a 16 hit? Yes, 16 hits. Seven is 13 damage for the first hit. 13 damage, boom, goes down. She's down? Yep. I'll take that. Okay. I was here. So and uh, five, ten, as she goes down, much like with the other that you have come across, <laughs> she bursts into flames. <laughs> and everyone who is within five feet needs to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Fifteen plus five is dirty twenty. Remember to add your three. You're within ten feet of me. So does twenty six. Twenty six. Uh, you make it. Um, uh, she feather, was here, so she was outside feather's of ten it. feet. Yeah. yeah, feathers good. Um, you all make it. Um, so you all take uh, two damage. It's right. a tough to take. 15, 20, 20, 30, 35. Awesome. That looks so weird from over here. Really here nice. And use my other looks one like to hit him. Head. Go for it. Uh, that <laughs> is a 15 plus head. 7, so 22. That hits. You look Dan Aykroyd, Merlin. Really. <laughs> I want you off from France. 7 plus 7, 14 damage. Remove 14. the deckle. <laughs> That's my favorite line. <laughs> All right. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yes, that will be the end of my turn. All right. It is now the Hellhound's turn. Uh, Heck who's hell. pissed? Um, Heck and yeah, Barco. He got shot twice and got hit in the face with a sword. Heck and Barco. <laughs> He's got style. 
Okay. Um, the good. Hellhound is going to go ahead and rear back, and it is going to exhale a large, uh, huge cone of flame from its mouth. Uh, Grook, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I believe you're the only one in the in range of it. Okay, that is a 15 plus 5, so 20. 20. 20 saves. You will take... <laughs> Twelve fire damage. Um, all right. Yes. Uh, that takes us back to the top of the round with the Orthon. Um, the Orthon is going to move again, um, and it is going to. Yeah. The closer we get you to God, right? Yeah. Lizard God. I don't trust that. You better not be trying to give Gorna a bean. Um, <laughs> it's not a bean. Okay. <laughs> Stay away from my bean. <laughs> Here, eat this. Maybe you'll be a dragon. Yes, metagame. Yes. It's not metagaming. Tell it's one of your abilities. Strategies. Okay. <sighs> now you know the location. You see the Orthon. Um, he is going to fire... Uh, his bow at Garuk. Or, I'm sorry, his uh, crossbow. It's like a bow. It's like a bow. Uh, Is there a bow in it? Yeah. For 13. Nope. <laughs> misses. Goes wide again as an arrow, seemingly, a bolt seemingly from nowhere. <laughs> whizzes past your head. Um, fitting it. Tis your turn. Oh, is it? I did. Okay. I could do that. Oh, is it? Fine. <laughs> and I'm going to go right there. And I'm going to do the thing I don't really do. I'm going to make a dual wheel attack. I don't know why I thought you were going to try and pick that person's pocket yeah. in the middle of a fight. <laughs> but I was just like... <laughs> you play way so too much time. The autocorrect in my brain was just guy. like... <laughs> <laughs> My brain auto-corrected the sentence, and I was just like... Okay. <laughs> Would have been so a flex, though. <laughs> so you're going to make... You're going to make two attacks. In the second one, you don't add the... What is it? Ability modifier to damage, I think is how it is. The second offhand. I think so. Yeah, offhand is so you still straight get, damage. You still add it to... Well, you still add proficiency, and... You get to add the ability modifier to the hit. Yeah. But yes, not but not the damage roll. Yeah, I believe you, that's you correct. Still get your I believe that's correct. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go with that for this. So, short, short sword and dagger, dagger offhand. That's the, that's the play here. And that is an 18 to hit for the short sword. Uh, an 18 to hit with the short sword. Yes. Uh, definitely hits. So, 11 damage. Uh, you also get sneak attack, you're invisible. That's true. Yes, you absolutely get sneak attack damage. I'll do that after this other one. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do it now. Because okay. you'll get sneak attack for the first attack, but well, I don't then think then you'll I'm get good. it on your second attack because no. now that they, they even yeah, know you're invisible, true. they know you're stabbing them in the back. Yeah, they know something. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty sure. That you've that they that something's back there stabbing them. Uh, twenty-five from the first hit. Twenty-five total damage. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Holy shit! And then the second attack is a sixteen to hit. Uh, sixteen also hits. That is seven damage. Holy. Oh. Um, you run up behind this guy and just stab him twice in the back and he is he's practically a corpse now he's bleeding heavily um, this guy is fucked up he seems to kind of be like he doesn't seem to be worth much at the moment as he is holding parts of his stomach inside of himself uh, he is not looking good. Um, it's appropriate music, too. Um, <laughs> uh, 
I want to actually disengage and use the rest of my movement if I can. Uh, uh, you're invisible. You don't have to disengage. Well, whatever. Then I can just. Yeah, they can't see you to react. I can just you. dash. Then I guess. You just you just move. Yeah, well, then just I'll just dash and I'll get the rest of my movement and double another. Yeah, another, double yeah so I'll do that. I can do that, right? Can you dash? Yeah, as a you can dash. And, and, yeah, he can dash as a free, free, free action. Free, yeah, bonus yeah, action. He can because of his. So that's what I like. So if I don't have to disengage, so he can do a bonus that, action. Right? So. You, it's just two attacks. It's not not when you when you attack with both weapons. Is that an is that a, an action and a bonus action or is that I don't think so. two actions? I'm not sure either. <laughs> Making an attack. Two handed. No, 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 it doesn't. It's just, uh. Two yeah, no, you, you, you still have your bonus action. Okay, cool. So then that means I can move with another yeah. 40 feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. That'll work. I'll go there. <laughs> I'll go there. Okay. Um, this person has things in their body that should be on the outside of this. <laughs> um, yeah, that, all right. That's a hell of a turn. Um. Is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Gorna. Um, I... Where is this guy? Like, he's in the middle of four squares. Scoot him into that Sounds like he front Yeah, question. that one right there. Okay. Well, then I can get to... I'm going to rage, go to there. Okay. And attack him with claws. Okay, go for it. Do it. Let's go reckless. Okay. Yeah, why not? Hey, there's a natural 20. Okay, that's a crit. Nice. Okay, so... That person is going to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, I don't think... They're going, I don't think they get to go to heaven. Somewhere. Their version of heaven. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I think... I don't think I have... Yeah, you know, that's next level. So, it is... These are D6. Plus an extra one. Plus... So double those. Mm -hmm. Nine, 10, 12, 14 damage. Um, 14 damage for the first attack? Plus my, uh, plus eight. So that's 22, 22, damage, 22 damage for the first hit. Okay. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 definitely hits, yes. And we're working these cultists over. So 5 plus 8 is 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Most because there's some real heavy. Uh, yeah, after that. that cultist goes down, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please, as the cultist bursts into flames. Eek. I think that one was bad. That one was equally bad. Um, that's uh, a 9? Nine? 9. You take 4 damage. Brad. <laughs> Um, is that the end of your turn? I have. Let's see how, I think I have ten feet left. Let's see. I was there. Here. Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So yeah. Yeah, you got ten feet. Back to the wall. Okay. Uh, that is not a wall. Not yet, anyway. One more step will be the wall. But oh. someone can still get behind you there. Yeah, we don't know what's Just to let you here. know. That's a, so oh, what's on okay. that side is that's two more large doors on that side, but that's one more step back from you. Okay. You see where see I where see. Feather and Gully are standing? Yeah. You, where so you, you all can came move in through? on this trim. Yeah, yeah. You can step onto that. It's so. like a step up, basically. Yeah. Well, let's... Uh Let's go here, actually. Okay. Let's do that. That feels good. Uh, Quinrin. Uh, let me see here. You are entirely too far, I think. Uh, 60. Yeah, if I do that, I can't also cast a spell. So I guess I'm gonna just have to kill something. Um... <laughs> ABC, baby. Hey, that always be killing. Probably be an easy, easy 
easy pick. Oh, um, yeah, probably. Well, he can't see him from where he, he is. He'd have to move. I, I, yeah, I can't move. Uh, and I will. I'll move up behind. Um, Would you hand me that spiritual weapon? You know. Uh, I'm gonna move up behind Feather there. Up here. Uh, behind. Behind. Yeah, behind. Yeah, behind. Wizard. Behind things. Not in front of things. Behind them. <laughs> <laughs> always Except forever. for me. In front ABC, of me. ABC. <laughs> always be behind cover. Oh. <laughs> and I'm a no, I'm sorry. Put it back. I thought it was a uh, a concentration spell. It's not. And we're going to um. It's not scorching ray. It's fireball. But we're gonna change that fire damage to cold damage, and we're gonna attack that cultist right there. The one who's currently holding his insides. his guts inside, inside himself. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jacob, shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Uh, fourteen plus eight That's is like a twenty-six. That hits. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Uh, uh, yeah, let me see yeah. here, and then fireball. But it. as cold is going to be two d ten freezies. Freezy, 2d10 cold damage. Uh, 8 and 6 is like 12, but plus 2 is 14. 14. Dead. He just he goes down. As he's holding his guts in, he looks up just in time to see the two ice bolts hit him. This dissipates its well, I assume. Yeah, absolutely. Goodbye, friend. Um, he didn't even get to martyrdom anyone with his fire. Nope. And then we'll move to the other side of Feather there. Like here or uh, here? Yep, that side right there. Perfect. Thank you. Brilliant. End of turn. Uh, Zilgrim. Uh, I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to try and guiding bolt the dog. Okay. Damn. I will not guiding bolt the dog. I'm sorry. You know, it goes wide and misses. Guru has to kind of step back a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dude, um, fuck, we're in combat. <laughs> fucking hoser. Feather. Hoser. Hoser. I'm better suited for healing, but nobody needs that yet, so. <laughs> yet. Yet. Uh, Feather is going to run up to the left side of the hellhound. Here. And she is going to make. Yep, she is going to make two attacks with her rapier. So First one absolutely hits. Uh, for ten damage. Second attack also hits for nine damage. Would it be too big? Again? to get some battle music. Right? <laughs> say, we're a, kind of walking what, through the Shire right now. Yeah, supposed no. to be, which is odd. <laughs> yeah, maybe I guess if the party died, we're yeah. somber about I it. I just right? like but tune back in every now and then and I was like, this sounds like the end of an anime episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we're in the credit scene. This is not what I would call epic battle music, dark ambience. That no, is some lying isn't. shit. All right. Liars. Yeah. I'm going to remove this. I'm just going to move into this one. Fucking soft, man. Okay. I think we got it. What was it doing? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> she killed the uh, the hellhound. That helps. Um, the, the hellhound goes down, and it does the same thing. Um, Groot, I need you and I hate these self-destructing enemies. It's so rude. It's really toxic. Yeah. 16. Self the toxic behavior was not very punk rock. Either. It'd be super cool if there was something left back like Paycock or you know, runneth the pockets. <laughs> Here is your dog, sir. Thank you. Uh, Garuk, uh, you take 7 damage. Uh, Feather takes 15. Son of a bitch, I thought cats were good. The old being reactive. This guy. It's dangerous to stereotype. Um, uh, I scare the shit out of this guy all the time. So Gully. I understand they're not, they're not as super powerful as the internet. <laughs> or as they'd like you to believe. Yes. Yeah. I've watched this idiot roll off of stuff and fall. So. It's the brain parasite. 
Gully plasmosis. is going to actually move straight forward 15 feet. He's going to take two shots at the cultist straight in front of him. With his longbow. Ah, oh, that's kind of... Too many dice in the dice tray. First one misses, second attack. Also misses. Boo! Oh, yeah. Um, it is the cultist's turn. Um, we start really with the cultist here next to Finnegan, who is going to... You had to hang out with your friends and have fun. That sounds awful. Yeah. I didn't sleep, so... Well... Uh, he's going to cast Shield of Faith. And he's going to back up 15 feet. Now that does invoke an attack of opportunity from you, if you would like to take it. You all skip out on this free damage. I don't even like getting in combat in D&D. 16. I play for the uh, 16 hits. I assume I just get the attack with one weapon. Yes. Uh, ten damage. Ten damage. Wait, do, do you I have to do sneak, sneak attack damage on that? Uh, on a reaction, oh. I don't... N you would have to... I'd read it's sneak attack. attack, though, is it not? Read sneak attack. Well, I mean, you don't get it on your second attack, either. Oh yeah, you did already do that, and it's still it's not back around to your turn yet. Yeah, so you have I would assume sneak not. Attack once this turn. <clears throat> that's six. That's a good good observation. Although it is a different enemy. Yeah, same turn. Yeah, yeah sneak attack yeah. once per turn. Okay. Once per turn. Yep. Okay. Um, so what was how much damage? Wait. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's ten damage. Ten damage. I could. Use sneak attack if I hadn't already used it this right, time. Right, right, because you can use it right, once right. per turn. So you get yes. it once per turn. Okay, gotcha. Uh, he's going to back up the other cultist over there. He is going to cast Sacred Flame at Grook. Did you make a dexterity saving throw, please? <coughs> 16. 16 sh misses. Um, that is the end of the cultist's turn. Uh, Garuk, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. 15, 20, 25. One up to this one. Okay. Attack one is a 19. That hits. Uh, 13 damage for attack one. 13 damage. Okay. And attack two misses. No. <laughs> yeah, I know a nine doesn't hit. No, <laughs> no, I not hit. No. <laughs> uh, all right, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes, that okay. will be the end of my turn. Uh, that, um... Guy. Big fan of the Orthog. He's very large, so it's easy to be a big fan. Yeah. So tired of this guy. Why does his one curly whisker by your other hand have that big bend in it like it got stuck in a door? Yes. Probably did. Probably did. You move on this cultist and slash it one good time and then in turn feel a sharp pain as the Orthon slashes you with its infernal dagger. It deals on your booty. Hey, watch out. <laughs> hey, watch out. Could have said that earlier. <laughs> Let's see. 
So would a fireball here be a good idea? Or like here? Oh, he's attacking the roof. Oh, so right here. You take here. 10 slashing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Constipation saving throw. Constitution is that one's really good. 14 plus 21. 21. You do need a saving throw requirement. You're not poisoned, but you have a wicked boner. You take 16 poison damage. You are poisoned for one minute. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You are not poisoned. I was about to say 21 fails. Yeah, you are not poisoned. No. <laughs> so he made the Constitution no. save throw, and he's poisoned. And Look poisoned. what happens <laughs> if you fail. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, so you Your take anus grows this <laughs> big around. Uh, you take 16 poison damage. The size of two raccoons. Ugh, roar. All right, it is now Finnegan's turn. I would like to move up to where the Orthon is. I don't know where that is. That is behind the cultist. I would assume behind the cultist. He's moved since I knew where he was. Attack, you can right? still see no, him. No, I sent you another message. Oh. You can still see him. You know exactly where he is. Yeah, we'll put you back. Okay, yes. Then I'm going to move. I guess, to be fair, what I should be saying is that when he attacks, he appears, and then he becomes invisible again. Immediately after. I keep forgetting to let you all know that. Um, so we do see him in you, like you see him brief in flashes. moments. Yeah. Hey. We see him be around. So as the as the arrows come out, or as the bolts come move. out, you as the uh, as the like dagger slashed you, that. you all did see flashes of him as he did that. But he immediately became invisible. Yeah, go again. on. Fucking live in your fucking. Okay, and now shame. I'm going to I'm going to cast booming blade, which is kind of just a melee buff. Okay. Hits them. I okay. Get into what it does, but I'm going to make another dual wheel attack on the Uh. Back left or wait? Where back was here. I? You were here. You were here. Or no, here. No. I think that's all my movement right there. 10, 15, 20, 25. So I can't hit him from there with melee. No, you need to be 10 feet further. You can dash as a free action, bro. That's true. Um, yeah, I guess I, I have to do that then. Um, it's a bonus action, not a free action, right? Yeah, bonus. Bonus so you cast a spell already, and you're making an attack. This is the spell is the spell's a bonus action. The attack is your action. So you can't That's dash. So you can't yeah. dash. that cantrip and bone myself, I guess. Well, you don't... Well, uh, you can stop at the cultist there, if you would rather... Can I just stay where I am now and cast a spell at the Orthon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can no do that reason instead. not. Okay. Easy. Yeah. You know where he is. <coughs> Third level magic missile. Okay. The we're solution every time. No, we're about to <laughs> That's it. We're about Third to know level magic is. missile. Um, I need, uh... What is it? Two... I need two Baja Blasters, please. Two Baja Blasters. <laughs> oh, yes. I did spend more time at the Chessex booth than I should have picking up Baja Blast magic missile dice. It was so worth it, though. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, how many do you need to eat? And I was like, 13. 11 D. <laughs> Who the fuck needs 13 D4? Wizards, asshole. Wizards. No. 
20 damage. 20 damage. I'm a forever DM. What does it mean when they have a wand of magic missile? That means you're not actually a DM, lady. Not for this game, anyway. <laughs> go back to the Chessex booth. So as the four go off, <laughs> or as the, the magic missiles go off, they explode on the Orthon and uh, revealing him. Oh, I didn't roll sneak attack damage either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead yeah. and add that. I almost forgot it. I I was, I was wondering why the number was so low. 16 more. 16 more. I'm going to have to pick out like sneak attack dice and all kinds of cool dice. I really should get more dice. You should. We should We should all get more dice. <laughs> we should go on a trip. Can you make it there? Yeah. Just fucking barely. Yes, any... Any spell that has an attack roll can be used to do sneak attack damage with... In conjunction. Well, with... No, I mean with... Um, Magic Missile being the exception, because it, it, it doesn't... doesn't have an attack doesn't roll. doesn't have an attack roll, but it still hits like it... It, it still works like it does. Because there's no save for it. It's definitely not a, not a saving <sighs> throw. I am so um, sore and so stiff the last few days. It is Gorna's turn. All right. I can make it just to this guy. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to tear into him with my claws. Go for it. <laughs> That's a miss, Oof. probably. What's, uh, what's the total? Uh, eight, nine, ten, 12. That is a miss. Yes. All right. Sorry. Uh, 21. 21 hits. Yeah. Hooray. Yeah, that's a hit for sure. That's um, 10 damage. More. Come on, everybody. Uh, that's uh, 23. That hits. Yeah. 12 damage. Oh, shit. All right. Jesus. Okay. Two. Two. Huge hits on the cultist. He's looking pretty bloodied. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Quinrin, it is your turn. <clears throat> huh. There's a lot of really neat stuff I could do. Um... I need to see a 20 foot radius. So a 40 foot circle? 40 foot circle, 20 We've foot. tried this a few times. I don't think I have, we have one that big. Ah, that's right. We got one that's we close. Have, yeah, we have, we have the 30 one. and then you'll just head. This is pretty close. I don't want Gorn in there. We don't have to have Gorn in there. Can't you put it outside the wall, technically? You can get the cultist and, and the orphan. And him without getting Gorn, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, what I want to do. Yeah. All right, we're going to expend a level four spell slot. Okay. And um, <laughs> I'm going to pull dust out of my pocket. Hell out yeah. Pouch, <laughs> and I'm going to, because this is personal, so my few drops of water are my drops of water. I'm going to flick them up in the air, and I'm going to cast uh, an ice storm over these two assholes. Hell yeah, okay. So they have to make a dexterity saving throw, and then we'll talk about what happens when they fail that. All right, the cultist. Uh, 16. 16 meets it. The orthon. Uh, 23. That's fine, because it still works. They just take half damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll 46 and 2d8. So we have 12, 17, 22 cold damage, and 13 bludgeoning damage. That's all halved. And they take half. Yes. 
Okay. That's 35 total, right? But that's 35 total, so half of 35 is... 17. 17. It was 22 and 13, correct? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, so 17 damage total. Um, Colt is fucking dead. <laughs> um, Gorna, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Do a good thing. Hey, 24. Uh, you take two fire damage as the cultist <laughs> bursts into flames as he goes 22. down. 22? Um, I did that. Yeah, yeah, still the same. Yeah, yeah. How many damage? Two? Uh, two damage. Um, so it was it was 22 and 13. Both of those are halved, though, mm -hmm. right? And he has difficult terrain up till uh, Finn and Gorna. Okay, okay. It turns the uh, the terrain into difficult terrain until the end of my next turn. So running directly up on him is going to be a bitch. Okay. But that's the only lasting effect from the spell, thankfully. Uh, for how long? Uh, it's now the the only thing that's happening is this area. Go ahead and leave it in there. Yeah. Just set it down and leave it there. That way we can see it. This area is difficult terrain okay. until the end of my next turn. Okay. Uh, da -da, Zilgrim. Zilgrim, it is your turn. Okay. Okay. Grip, did you get, like, hit with damage earlier? A lot, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there, let me see. Uh, let's see. That one is touch. And that one is touch. <laughs> <laughs> Most healing is touch. I was gonna say, except for second level and up, but that's fine. I'm gonna use a prayer of healing. Who all has taken any damage? Has Feather taken damage from the explosion earlier? Uh, so far, I think. I think everyone's taken. Damage. Has everyone? I have not. So I, have, I have. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, no. I've okay. I, no. Feather, Gully, Garuk, Gorna. I've taken eight damage. Those uh, four people. Have all taken damage. <laughs> Yes, I think so. Feather, Gully, Garuk, and Gorda have all taken damage. Okay, well, I'm going to target them okay. for eight points of healing. Okay. Hey, that just tops me off. Sweet. Everybody wants a top off. Go ahead. Better do it now before things get really bad. <laughs> The only thing I think I've been hit with is Fire. magic Fire. damage, which doesn't get halved by my mm. <laughs> stupid... Son of bitch! Yeah. <laughs> my main, uh, my biggest weakness is a barbarian. That's magic. Magic. You know barbarians used to get um, bonus like crazy XP? Well, uh, you used to get crazy bonus XP if you would just you found a magical item and you just destroyed it. Yep. And you just take it and you just smash it. You just smash it into pieces. You just get crazy. Way, like an old barbarian. man way with back, his laptop. That's it. Yeah. Way back in the day, there used to be a barbarian <laughs> subclass that was so anti-magic, they would use nothing, not even potions. Yep. Nothing magic. Uh, it is Feather's turn. Feather is feeling pretty good. Um, let's see. Feather is going to go ahead and cast... Nothing. Command word diarrhea. We're gonna cast shoot this Orthon with this longbow twice. Oh hey. First one misses. Second one is a natural twenty. Oh. Hey a bow of shooting. Bow of shooting. Ten damage. Ten more than before. Yes. <laughs> Only seven less than me, and I used a whole fourth Second level attack. spell slot. Oh, no, that was it. That was two attacks. Um, Gully. Let's get her second, second attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, second attack. Gully. Elevensies? Mm -hmm. Is going to do the same. Except Gully's going to shoot at the cultist that is left this time. Uh, the first I'll take Gully. Hits. Oh, shit. For max damage. Coltus has been hit, hasn't it? Group? Oh yeah, I hit it. Uh, oh, and kills it. <laughs> How does it feel to be a dead man, dead man? 17. 17 passes, you take one damage. One fire damage. 
as <laughs> the cultist explodes. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Um, so uh, that means Gully is going to take uh, his second shot at the Orthol for a natural 20. Holy shit. Okay. 10 damage. Uh, 12 damage. <laughs> he sat there spiking his hair and throwing his hair around all yeah, over in your yourself. black t-shirt. <laughs> right. uh, all of my t-shirts are my black t-shirt. Unless Rook, it's it is your my turn. two red t-shirts. Alright, uh, Rough Terrain oh, just, uh... Adds movement. Yeah. So, this would be, like, 10, 20, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, each square, each movement inside of that becomes 10 feet. So, you can move, uh, yeah, 5 feet, 10, 15, 20, yeah, yeah, you could get two steps in. Okay, cool, so I can make it to him. No. I've got 40 foot movement. Oh, 40 foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make one more, then you get <laughs> so right here. Yeah. Go ahead. Are you looking at him? Yep. In his stupid fucking eye. Yep. We should his find out if he's the one who plucked our homie's eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back. Okay. Uh, now I am going to. Cast Branding Smite. Old Brandon Smite. Bran Brandon Smite. Brandon T. McGillicuddy. And. Hold on. That's a little man. Yes. Branding Smite, and I'm going to swing. Go for it. For a 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. 20 hits, for sure. Okay. So that, with these... cast regular smite at second level for an extra try that guy again <laughs> gone forever <laughs> I have to go dice shopping now thanks Diz for an extra 16 damage okay what is that total uh, 37. 37 total? Yes. Boom. Okay. And for my second attack... I'm going to reach into his anus and pull it out. <laughs> Hopefully. Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen hits. Awesome. 10, that is 8 plus 7 is another 15, and I'm going to use first level smite this time. Nice. For an extra 13 damage, so that's 28 on that attack. 28. So twenty eight plus thirty six damage. It was a hell of a hell of an, an attack. Um, he looks pretty rough, um, but it is now the Orthon's turn. The Orthon is going to go invisible. That's fine. You can only go so far, literally. I've eaten up a bunch of that. Okay. Grook. That's a 
natural 20. You are a critical man. It's yeah, every time. Every time there's something, some kind of heavy hitter. It's this die. Because I've been critting with other characters with this die. This die. This I nasty want that die. die I want that die tested. Yeah, right? <laughs> you can't <laughs> test. PEDs. It's going to be really hard to test obsidian. Um, you do it the same way you test to see if like a diamond is real in a right. ring or something. Um, no, you roll it a hundred times and see if it's weighted. Nah, you put chemicals on it. <laughs> like a jeweler. It's like a loop. Yeah, you don't test it for purity. You test it for <laughs> weight by just rolling. <laughs> Controlled rolling. You look at the trajectory of the moon and the sun. <laughs> you take. Bounce that off of this swamp gas on Venus. Yep. It's easy to figure out. <laughs> 17, 21, 24 piercing damage, and I need you to roll a d6, please. A d6? Yes, please. Two. Two. You also take a shit right in your pants. You take another five radiant damage. Um, all creatures within 20 feet of you uh, need to make a dexterity saving throw. That's you. That's me too, oh, isn't it? No, no you're, up. you're outside. And Garuk, uh, I need you to also make a dexterity saving throw, please. Seventeen. Seventeen. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. You are okay, Garuk. You are blind. Oh no! Forever? You don't know. Oh no! I don't know if I can fix that. Buy you new eyes. Wait, wait. <laughs> we'll get you magic eyes. Yeah, some better not better eyes. <laughs> Your X-ray vision, the Z-ray is too better. <laughs> it's too better. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to that weird shop uh, with Finnegan. that woman who offered you any. It's your turn. <laughs> your Jedi mind tricks do not work on me. You see the Orthon. <laughs> yes, I would like to know where. I would like to know where. Hey, Finnegan. Oh, actually, um, you all see the Orthon because he went invisible first, moved, and then fired. <laughs> uh, I know so we're too far. Okay. Okay. Um, I am going to do as much damage as possible. Not move. Okay. And I am going to. Ice knife. Ice knife? Yeah. Okay. 24 to hit. 24 hits. That's awesome. That is really wonderful. Ice knife. Ice knife. Ice knife. Ice knife. Ice knife. That's annoying. Um, so it will take 1d10. This the sound the knife makes. That's the sound of the fucking. That's the cold damage. That's Italian sausage damage. pasta so from Domino's damage makes the second damage. And it has to make a dexterity saving throw, which the DC would be. 16? 16? Is that changed by rough terrain? No, unfortunately. Uh, he fails. Oh no, I'm sorry. He, he passes. He has a 17. Damn okay. you and your math skills. Sorry. That's okay. That's it then. Alright, after Finnegan Gorna. Um <laughs> okay, uh this it, part of my class feature says mm -hmm. um you gain a climbing speed equal to your walking speed and you can climb difficult surfaces including upside down on ceilings without needing to make an ability check. Does yes. that actually change 
no. how I move through this. Because that tells you that says nothing about moving through rough terrain. Okay. It says you can climb on difficult surfaces. You can climb onto the but rough terrain is like down. a this that that's telling you you can climb on things. Yeah. So it's fine. I, is, I have plenty of is, movement. I was just curious. This is magically if it were like a bunch of craggy rocks or something like that, absolutely. This is magically rough terrain. Your crawling ability won't do you much good against magical ice storms. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can get to him anyway. I you, just... Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, no, uh, this is, yeah, a magical ice storm causing rough terrain would not be the same as, like, it's you, conditional. Gotcha. All right. Three attacks at advantage. Go for it. Nope, that's trash. Uh oh. Absolute garbage. <laughs> oh, no. Did you fucking hit? Oh, my God. A, tw a dirty 20? The 20 hits, yeah. Do your claws count as magical attacks? Yes. They do? Okay. Um, I thought they did. I just... I just remember. So that's... Did you keep forgetting you're invisible? 12 damage. 12 damage. Uh, first hit. The Orthon goes down. Or he begins to go down. And as he does, I need everyone within 30 feet of the Orthon to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's right. I assume mine's going to so. be at disadvantage. What? I said I assume mine's going to be at disadvantage. Since uh, I'm blind. Because you are blind. Let's see. Blind, 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 blind. Blinded. Creature can't see. Automatically fails. Automatically that fails any ability check that requires sight. Attack rolls oh. against the creature <laughs> have went. advantage. The creature's attack rolls at yeah. disadvantage. Yet you automatically. And my fail. other one's a two. What is it? A dex save. It would have been a yep. one and a two. Dexterity save. <laughs> oh my god. Death. <laughs> Ten. Ten dexterity save. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Cyan or sucker. You're the only one that, <laughs> that makes it. Um. So. Um. Let's see. There's cat hair stuck to yes. it already. Yes. So what? That ring, there's cat hair stuck to it already. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's been floating through the air and it just got caught. All minis must have the cat hair blown off of them between uh, sessions. Those that failed take 20 damage. Uh, those that passed take half. Expertly performed dodge roll through the fire. Uh, I will take the Orthon now. Oh, look at his weird face. Yeah, go for it. I was so, really excited when I opened that mini. Now I'm less excited that I've seen it so many times. With the battle over, you all are now currently out of initiative. Whew. And you have had your first taste of the Kingdom of Madness, a place they call Jethala. And we'll pick up here next week.